We'll start first with Megan Triplett. Hey, Coach, congrats on the win. Um, the other night you said that you didn't want to get to the offseason. You wanted to continue to coach, and, and you will. I know this game was kind of some ups and downs, but what was your overall message to your team after this victory? Yeah, just unbelievable uh, effort tonight. Um, really proud of, you know, uh, a lot of guys, especially our starters. And I thought DB was phenomenal defensively. Obviously had a huge run offensively for us, um, you know, to, to keep the game. Um, you know, close. Uh, I think it was in that fourth quarter. Uh, JV was unbelievable. Um, you know, 23 and 23, multiple block shots. You know, DeRozan attacking downhill, other guys attacking downhill. Just his presence in the paint was phenomenal. Um, you know, Kay with a big shot late, Des big, you know, shots late, job, big shots, and, you know, the, the big free throw there uh, to pretty much seal it. So I told the guys, you know, our, we talked about our habits all season, last couple of weeks, emphasizing that, especially the last couple of days. I thought we were really, really good, um, you know, for more of the game than not. Our habits were there. Our discipline was there. Obviously, we're always going to be competing. Um, and then most of all, especially after having that great first quarter and then the Spurs going on that, you know, huge run in that second quarter, we kept staying together. You know, we knew it was a long game, uh, never wavered. You know, I say all the time, there's different ways to win ball games. you know, uh, give up the lead in the fourth quarter. And, you know, the energy, our fans were unbelievable. We, we gave up the lead and they just gave us new life. Um, and our guys just kept staying the course, staying together. Great positive attitude throughout, understood what we had to do to make winning plays, uh, especially in that late, you know, part of the fourth quarter. And I'm uh, just really proud of the effort. Parker Fleming. Hey, hey, coach. Um, so your the team was able to really just kind of weather a big punch from the Spurs in that second quarter. Just what do you have to say just about the team's resiliency? Because that's just a message that you've been preaching all year long is resiliency. Yeah, I mean, um, you just got to keep competing. That's the number one thing we always talk about. Resiliency comes from that. If if you start with that mentality, um, you know, we've been in these moments. All season, obviously, it gets more heightened and magnified in a game like this, um, you know, playoff basketball. And uh, our guys, you know, hopefully they're just feeding off of that experience and understanding, you know, when you do take a punch like that, how are you going to respond? You know, keep playing the same way, aggressively, offensively. We're getting good looks. We're missing. But let's just make sure we're dialing it in me mentally that, hey, we can't let up on the defensive end. So uh, we were able to regroup, uh, maintain a lead going there to that, um, you know, halftime, uh, low scoring affair in that third quarter, you know, back and forth. Um, but we just steadily got better. And I thought our mental toughness really showed, you know, in that second half, definitely in that fourth quarter after giving up the lead. Um, but it's a credit to our group. You know, they, they know it's a 48 minute gain. Um, you know, there's ebbs and flows, ups and downs. We talk about that. No highs, no lows. Um, and you just got to find different ways to win. And, uh, you know, big time plays there in that fourth quarter defensively and offensively from a lot of our guys, especially our starting group. Um, so hopefully we can build on this and, and keep carrying that moving forward. Keith Parrish. It felt like the the referees were really kind of letting letting things go in the game. Do you feel like that maybe favors your team and being able to be physical? I think you know both teams were physical. Obviously, we didn't you know have the the, the ball moving, the assist totals. Um, you know, we tried to use pick and rolls to kind of loosen them up. You know, we had a gr lot of great looks. Um, at times, it didn't fall. Um, you know, we had great pace there in that first quarter. I think we had nine assists and then just, you know, the game just kind of grinds out, you know, this time of year, you know, everyone says it right, you know, playoff basketball starts slowing down. And, um, you know, there was a physicality that, you know, uh, both teams played with. And, you know, I'm just glad our guys were able to fight through that stuff. You know, some of the downhill attacks we had late in the game against physicality, you know, to relieve their pressure, um, some ball screens. I mean, uh, give the Spurs a lot of credit, you know, DeJounte Murray on the ball, you know, their athletic wings, you know, Pearl uh, in the ball screens up and back and, and protecting the paint. Um, there was just, you know, high-level activity, high-level physicality both ways. Uh, just really proud of our guys to just find enough, you know, plays uh, to overcome. And then obviously our defensive activity was phenomenal. Um, you know, tons of pick and rolls with the rows in our closeouts and aggression. You know, they've got aggressive drivers just guarding one on one and showing crowds and trying to keep them away from the rim uh, where they're pretty lethal in the paint. Um, so overall, I thought just, you know, the activity and physicality, this is great exposure for our guys. And, um, you know, moving forward, you got to have that in the back of your mind. That's the level you got to get to. Evan Barnes. Taylor, how important was it for you guys to just after Saturday, after Sunday, how important was it for you guys to be disciplined? Obviously, Dylan avoided most of the foul, tr foul trouble for most of the game. Jaron was out of didn't get much foul trouble. How big was that a message for you guys just to be disciplined, knowing what you were facing against the Spurs and likely what you're now going to face Friday? Yeah, I mean, you got to have uh, discipline every single night, um, you know, but especially in these crucial games, crucial moments, uh, you, you've got to 
you got to lean on that. Um, you know, we've been talking about that all season long. Uh, when, when it's good, it's really good. I thought tonight, discipline for the most part, really good. Uh, definitely preached that a lot, you know, the last uh, couple of days. You know, once in, we installed our game plan, obviously a lot of the disciplines on the defensive end, you know, I know DeRozan ended up with 11 free throws, but there were so many times pump fake, showing our hands, you know, contesting at the top, uh, on drive, showing our hands, uh, you know, a lot of different situations because they put a lot of pressure on you with how they get downhill. Uh, that was a big emphasis. Um, so our guys, you know, rose to the occasion, understood how important that was. And then even discipline offensively, um, just knowing that, you know, this is going to be a grind out affair. You know, the Spurs really good defense when, you know, they get in physical and active on you. And we're able to just attention to detail, you know, some of the plays that we executed. There's a discipline to that, uh, discipline to making the right play and the right reads and, and uh, uh, give our guys a lot of credit in understanding that, especially the last couple of days. But something we've talked about all season long. So uh, that's where it starts for us. Mark Giannato. Yeah, hey, Taylor. Obviously, the the bench the last two years has been a, a strength for this team, but the past few games it has not. How do you approach that uh, over the next couple of days going into the, a, a rematch or, or potentially a game against the Lakers on Friday? Yeah, I mean, our bench is huge for us. Um, you know, a couple of recent games where – uh, you know, they haven't gotten the productivity that, you know, we're used to and they're accustomed to, but we've got the utmost faith in those guys. And um, they just got to, you know, be ready for the next opportunity because we need them. Uh, we need our bench to be good. We need to rely on that depth that we have. So, um, you know, all guys got to be ready to go out there and contribute. It's going to be great uh, to, to come off of this victory and have a travel day tomorrow and just fill our cups back up. And all these guys know, you know, uh, everyone on our roster goes through ups and downs and um, the, the togetherness of this group and how we play, everyone just can step in and, and make a play. Um, so I would expect these guys to play a lot better in the next game and, and, and excited. Thanks, Coach. That's all the Great. time that we have. Yep, thanks. Next up, we will have Jaron Jackson Jr. and he'll be sitting down momentarily.